Hi everyone, I'm Film Club reporter Jack. A very big welcome to Film Club Live and a fabulous French show we've got for you today. And I'm Kate from the films team here at Film Club. Um, big hello from me too. I'm really looking forward to today's show. We're ca we came to put our berries on and going on a French journey through French cinema with some surprising films to show you. And we have an exclusive interview with one of the giants of French cinema, Mathieu Kassovitz. He was in Amélie and Le Hen. And the helping us find out more about the huge subject of French cinema is Charlotte Saludouard, a programmer from Cine Lumière. A big film club live welcome <laughs> to you. Hi Charlotte. Hello. <laughs> So if you have any thoughts or you want to ask Charlotte any questions about French cinema, it's really easy to contact us. The details of how you do that should just be running across the screen right now. Charlotte, not everyone will have seen a huge amount of French mm. films. Um, what type of, what's the difference between French and British cinema? That's a really strong question, <laughs> a really <laughs> difficult one. Big one. But basically I would say that French cinema is uh, mostly on, there are a lot of like really small stories, uh, people from real life, and uh, the French audience is different and a lot of French people are liking French cinema. Mm -hmm. In England, it's a bit different because it's more tied up to US rather than French cinema tied up to Europe. And uh, so in Britain, it's more like bigger stories and the audience is not that much uh, used to see independent films. And, uh, but it's changing a lot, so we can't say that anymore. There are many great independent British films now. Maybe we can yeah. learn a lesson from yeah. French cinema. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well some of the earliest films that were ever made were produced in France mm -hmm. and we've got a clip of one right now. It's Trip to the Moon by Georges Méliès. It's one of the first science fiction films that was ever made and it was made in 1902. Absolutely cutting edge in 1902. How was the film received by audiences? For French audiences and for like international audiences, it was just magic. It was uh, 110 years ago, so it was completely different from what people saw before. And the film was made by Méliès with his family in kind of a like, small remote uh, place in Paris. And uh, he was hand coloring everything. So it was completely different. Like again, science fiction and magic. What do you think, I think it's still quite surprising today. What do you mm -hmm. think audiences might not expect or find surprising about it if they watched it today? Um, they would still be surprised uh, when you see the image of the trip to the moon with the um, rocket in the moon. That's something you've seen everywhere and you would be amazed by the fact it's uh, hundred years old yeah. and how surprising it is that someone managed to do all these tricks that are still used now. It's kind of kooky as well, isn't it? Yeah. After all. <laughs> um, now we're going to show you a clip from 400 Blows released in 1959. Directed by Truffaut, this is the story of a young boy who's somewhat neglected and he ends up in a life of scrapes and petty crimes. One of the things I really love about this film is the central performance by Jean-Pierre Luand. Um, you can see it in this clip, it's really naturalistic. C'est une vie un peu embrouillée par terre, mon oncle. Le plancher s'est écroulé à cause du poids des machines. Tu crois pas que ça pourra encore s'écrouler Pas de danger, ça peut pas tomber plus bas, et puis en tout cas, tu auras pas froid. Ça, c'est un vrai matelas, et ça, c'est pour faire un oreiller. Oh la vache, c'est drôlement lourd ben, Jusqu'à minuit, t'as qu'à les promener. Oh, mon cartable, tu me le rendras demain. Entendu.
Why is 400 Blows such an important film? I've heard it's part of the new French wave. Can you tell me a bit about that? But the French New Wave is about movement, is about natural actors, it's about uh, smaller stories. It's kind of against the Hollywood system. And this film is really important because it marks this new wave. And uh, you can see, for example, in the clip we've just seen that it's kind of Truffaut is paying on the kids because he has the camera on his shoulders. He can go around Paris and film them. So it's really different from the set we see in Hollywood and the big studios. Brilliant. Um, okay, now we're going to see a slightly darker side of French life in many ways. It's one of the key films to come out of France in the last 20 years. Le Hen was directed by Mathieu Kassovitz, and our film clubber Caroline got an exclusive interview with the star and director. So here you go. Hey guys, I'm here at the Cine Lumiere in West London with Mathieu Kassovitz, who's a famous French director and actor. Thank you for coming to speak to us today. Hello, Pleasure Caroline. to meet you. So it's been nearly 20 years since La Haine, which is a huge hit for film clubbers. Um, what's the secret of having a good career and what is it that drives you forward in yours? If I knew a secret to have a good career, I would probably have a, had a good career, but I had a career that goes up and down. That's, uh, that, you can call it a good career or not. Bon alors maintenant on fait quoi Vous deux je sais pas et moi je vais téléphoner, faut que j'aille récupérer mon blé. My thing was that I do different films all the time. I, I don't I, I'm not trying to do uh, the same one again. Um, and I'm trying to stay curious. You're probably most recognised for your role in Amelie. Was this a turning point in your career? How did it affect it? All of a sudden, girls thought that I was romantic. <laughs> so that helped, but uh, not for long. So no, that, that, you know, it's not a turning point in my career because I think turning point in my careers are more uh, directing, you know, uh, yeah. about being a director. Actor, you, you know, an actor, you don't really decide about anything. You, somebody calls you and they want you and they give you a script and you say the lines and you're not really in charge. So I can't, you can't really decide, uh, you know, what's your career. What I know is that it's an, an amazing movie and I'm very proud to be part of it because that's an amazing movie. So your latest film was Rebellion, which I saw today and I thought it was fantastic. And that's set in the 1980s. How do you think this true story is relevant to the world today? It relates uh, because uh, since uh, 2001, the world is going in a different, you know, strange direction. And we can see and we know and we have access to more information. And we, we understand that um, things are not the way they told us. They, they tell us it is, you know, uh, official versions are never the, 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 the truth. And... We hear it, you know, day and uh, after days, and you know, it's it's our everyday life now. We we know they're lying to us.
So this is your first time directing yourself? Mm, is it not your the first, first time, no. Not the first time? Not the first time. Well, how did that change your approach as both a performer and a director? You know, when you're acting and directing, you're actually everywhere. So you have a different control of the, of, of the, over the movie. It's a, it's a different way of thinking about the movie. It's, it's less work, I think, for me. So you do acting, directing, writing, there really is no end to your talents. If you could only pick one of these to do for the rest of your career, which one would it be? Yeah, director. And why would it be directing? Because that's where you, you get everything. You get, you get, you know, you work with technicians, crew, uh, they're amazing. You, you meet amazing people, uh, you know, if you, on a movie like that, I, I, I met so many different people from militaries, from you know politicians, from the Kanak, from you meet so many people, and so you get you end up a movie. The journey is almost yeah. is I think almost as important as the result. French cinema is becoming increasingly popular, particularly with films such as Amour and The Artist. Uh, you've also worked in American cinema as well. Um, have you ever considered doing a film in England? I was interested uh, in, in, you know, there is this guy, uh, Plan B. Yeah, yeah Plan we did, B. Yeah, yeah, we did this movie. I, you know, that, that energy is the energy that we don't have in France anymore. So, uh, yeah, I'm very interested in England. Excellent. Yeah, I love, plus, man, I, you know, all, all these movies like made in England, uh, Bloody Sunday, yeah. uh, the Ken Loach movies. That's, you know, you are a country of, of social cinema way more than we do well thank you very much it was a pleasure meeting you and you've given me some really interesting answers thank you thank Caroline. You. thanks guys for watching the interview see you soon definitely check out Am amelie and le hen they are rated a 15 though i really enjoyed amelie because um it was really well shot and it sort of linked up all at the end which kept you interested during the film Oh, I really enjoyed it too. Um, another big star of French cinema is Gérard Depardieu. Uh, he's a star of films such as Jean de Florette, Manon de Source, and he was Oscar nominated for his role in Cyrano de Bergerac, which we can see here. Il se fit une nuit la plus noire du monde, et les quais n'étant pas du tout illuminés, mortius, on n'y voyait pas plus loin que son nez. Qu'est-ce que c'est que cet homme-là C'est un homme arrivé ce matin. Ce matin Il se nomme le baron Christian de Neu... Ah C'est bien. Je... Très bien. Je disais donc... Mordius Que l'on n'y voyait rien. Et je marchais. Songeant que pour un gueux fort mince, j'allais mécontenter quelques grands, quelques princes qui m'auraient sûrement. Dans le nez. Une dent. Qui m'aurait une dent. Et qu'en somme imprudent, j'allais fourrer. Le nez. Le doigt entre l'écorce et l'arbre. Car ce grand pouvait être de force à me faire donner. Sur le nez. Sur les doigts. Mais j'ajoutais, marche, Gascon, fais ce que doit. J'avance. Et tout à coup me trouve né à né. Face à face. Dapudieu, one of the most famous and recognizable French actors, just don't mention the nose. <laughs> to, um, why do you think he's such an appeal to the French audiences? Because it's not only for the French audiences, actually, but uh, he's such a big character. Like, he's massive, he's tall, he's uh, a brilliant actor. He made many films that lead, uh, led him to the, the Oscars, many awards. So that's why he's such, he has such a presence now on the international scene. I think here sometimes he comes across as quite like an mm. off-the-wall character, a bit like in his kind of star persona. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sometimes when you grow um, What other <laughs> films might we want to check out to kind of see the full range? So, what other films could we check out that he stars in to see the full uh, range? But you, you named the Jean de Florette and mm -hmm. Manon des Sources. And uh, it's kind of complicated to find a certified 15 oh, or okay. 12 <laughs> right at the moment. But uh, there's the first one he did with Bertrand Blier called Les Valseuses. Um, 
couldn't going places, the English title. Okay. When you are the age, you can look at it and see how Gérard de Perdue is such a great star. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Well, um, our next clip comes from the trips of, triplets of Belleville and animation. <coughs> people would associate animation with children's film but I think that film's definitely aimed at an older audience. Why do you think that works so well? Because it's really different from what you see usually. Uh, as, you, as you say, the animation is really different. There are many details. The stories are not princesses and uh, dragons. It's uh, mostly uh, kind of really complicated stories but uh, there, as there are many in the same film, I think uh, older audience as well as young audience can engage with it. Yeah, definitely. Um, slightly related to that film, we've had someone recommend that we watch the films of Jacques Tati. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend those and what should we see? Yeah, Jacques Tati's films are really funny and actually uh, the triplets of Belleville are completely um, kind of based on the stories and humour of, uh, of Jacques Tati. Sylvain Chaumet, the director, loves Jacques Tati and he made the other film, The Illusionist, oh, yeah. that takes place in Edinburgh this time and uh, that's complete tribute to him. That would be another good one for film clubs to check out. So if you could recommend one French film to our film clubbers that they should definitely watch, or maybe your favourite, what should we see this um, weekend? I have to say that I love Jacques Demy film. Uh, there are many new films that are brilliant as well, but if I have to recommend a classic, there's Les Demoiselles de Rochefort. It's okay. uh, totally brilliant, suitable for your age. And uh, it's, it's completely different from what you see usually. It's kind of... Uh, um, different way to see at the musicals and uh, it's really funny and it stars with uh, Catherine Deneuve and her sister and so you can see how she managed to be a great star as well. Brilliant, okay well that's what we can um, do this yeah. weekend. It's been great talking to you Charlotte and thank you for the fast race through French <laughs> cinema. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and you can find out more about French film on our website, there's a resource that you can download if you're interested. Also do have a look at the brilliant Cine Lumiere website, it's really great or even better, just pop down there and watch a film. And if you'd like to catch up on any of the Film Club live shows from this week, they're all on the Film Club website for you to, whenever, to watch whenever you want. And don't forget to have a look at our competitions page. If you send in your Instagram pics of your Film Club in action, you can win some amazing prizes. And that's all we've got time for today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.